All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So by popular demand, I'm doing a video on Brock Lesnar and whether or not I believe he could have been a good bodybuilder. Now, obviously, the majority of Brock's training consists of MMA training and uh, WWE style of training for athletic function. Um, so his, his training doesn't really revolve around bodybuilding. So when we're trying to answer the question of whether or not he would be a good bodybuilder, we're talking about competitive bodybuilder training for bodybuilding and only for bodybuilding. So could he have turned pro? Could he have competed in the amateurs? How well would he have done? Et cetera, et cetera. So I think Brock is going to be one of the first guys where I answer this question with absolutely yes, he would have been an amazing bodybuilder. I think he definitely um, could have been very successful in both the amateurs and maybe even excelled to the professional level. Brock is just one of those guys that just has superhuman genetics for whatever sport he would have pursued. Um, he just so happened to have been a wrestler, then went into MMA. Um, first, he dominated collegiate wrestling. Then he would go into MMA um, in the WWE and dominate both of those. Even though most of us know that WWE is scripted, it is still an athletic entertainment type of endeavor. I mean, the things that these guys do when they're lifting another 250, 300 pound man in the air, suplexing them, you know, jumping off the top rope when you weigh 300 pounds um, and landing on someone else. I mean, these types of things are athletic things that really takes a tremendous amount of athleticism to pull off. And then you have his career in the MMA world uh, with the UFC, where he went over there and dominated um, and did very well. So this is one of those guys that not only does he have the ability to be a multidisciplined athlete, but while he's doing that, he has a freaking beastly, powerful physique. I mean, obviously the guy is crazy strong, but aside from that, if you just look at this guy's physique, man, you can tell that this guy had top-tier genetics. I mean, the physique on this guy is absolutely insane. The size of his chest is just massive. So if we look at his height and weight, we're not going to look at his WWE height and weight because those are build heights and weights that are often exaggerated. So we're going to look at the UFC height and weight that they have listed for Brock Lesnar. So they have him listed at six foot three or 190 centimeters tall, and he weighs 265 pounds or 120 kilograms. So we are talking about an absolutely massive human being, just straight, you know, beastly Viking genetics, just the top of the top. So we got to keep in mind, again, he's not training for bodybuilding. He's training for MMA and athletic function. So his physique kind of reflects that. He's got kind of a top heavy physique. He carries a little bit more extra body weight, a little body fat, a lot more water weight. And he's not very defined. He's just kind of a big burly guy. And that's fine for the sport that he's chosen. So when we're, ev when we're evaluating whether or not he would be a good bodybuilder, we've got to consider the fact that you know, for what he does, he doesn't have to be shredded. He doesn't have to be super lean and he doesn't have to train a bodybuilding style of training. So he's got the combination of genetics and just obviously a killer fucking work ethic. So this guy is obviously a workhorse in the UFC and the WWE and back in his collegiate wrestling days, obviously he has a great work ethic. So I think if he had applied that early on to bodybuilding instead of what he's doing now, I think he would have been just as successful with bodybuilding as he has been with WWE, as he has been with uh, MMA, as he has been with collegiate wrestling. I think had he joined the NPC, which is the amateur ranks of bodybuilding, I think he certainly would have been a national qualifying bodybuilder and and probably turn pro. I mean, if this guy had focused all his time, all his energy, and put those crazy <laughs> Viking genetics to work uh, in the bodybuilding scene, I think this guy could have pulled it off um, and been a pretty good bodybuilder. Probably not a Mr. Olympia or anything like that, but in terms of a competitive professional bodybuilder, I think Brock Lesnar probably had what it took um, had he focused all his energy in that direction. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think Brock Lesnar could have been a competitive uh, bodybuilder, whether he be amateur or professional? Let me know in the comment section below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strangler Power, signing out.